would go away because of this pending merger, we would be very disappointed. There needs to be a network devoted to rural interests. We're here in Medina, Minnesota today, producing new segments for the Molly B Show. Patrick Gotch is the chief executive of a television channel you may never have heard of. RFD TV was launched about 14 years ago. It has something for everybody that lives in rural America. From marketing to management to meeting and greeting fellow pork producers. There's the ag programming, there's equine programming, programming for all the 14 million people in this country who ride horses. And then our traditional music programming, like the polka show we're doing today. Where are you folks from? Recently, Gotch has turned into an unlikely fighter in the battle over proposed media consolidation. With mergers pending between Comcast and Time Warner Cable, as well as AT&T and DirecTV, he is traveling the country warning of a threat to independent broadcasters like RFD-TV. I hope you'll take the time to write a letter to the FCC right now or contact your congressman and senator if you get a chance. They're interested in protecting underserved audiences. I guess rural America is an underserved audience now, but you know, we'll, we'll take that. Comcast dropped RFD TV from its services in Colorado and New Mexico in order to provide, quote, more value to its customers, according to a statement. We're only in 600,000 now of Comcast's 21 million homes. Time Warner, it's the same issue. We're in 400,000, 500,000 of their 13 million homes. AT&T doesn't carry us at all. There's a disconnect, I think, with many companies uh, with rural America. Everything's being done from an urban perspective, targeting 18 to 34 year olds. And, and our point is, is that there's another audience out there that's valuable. Concerned that their favorite programming will disappear, loyal viewers have submitted thousands of comments to the FCC. The survival of RFD-TV is now a major issue as regulators review the mega-mergers. This is vital to rural America. This is the only thing out there that is in the game. There's nothing else even in the game that I've seen on other TVs or on Comcast. A grand slam at the end of both these mergers would be that, that uh, the Department of Justice uh, mandates in some way uh, protection and carriage uh, for rural independent programming. Otherwise, it's, uh, it, it's going to disappear. And in our case, our programming is unduplicated. You won't find a polka music show on any other channel.